Hello everyone and welcome yeah, back busy. to Kitty Pie's Love Life. What's up? It's Abraham. Uh, the problem with his uh, with Angelina's hairstyle has been fixed. Alright, so that one goes away quite quickly when you change their hairstyle at the salon. It took, like, the very next day, I guess it, like, probably checked. Probably runs, you know, a check on that and he no longer has an issue with it because I changed it to a hippie hairstyle. Which they should both like because they're both hippies. Found the cat. So that's 20 coins, which we did need. Alright, so, let's see. A gastronaut at the restaurant. Who might like being a gastronaut? Oh no, the bird was right there. Darn it. A chic type would like it best. Um, glam, already or vintage. But we're trying to get our chic type a new job already. I guess if that one doesn't work, we can try getting her the job at the cafe. But yes, unfortunately, Interrupter was poofed by the... Uh, the opening of a menu. Poor interrupter. Alright, we actually don't have that much going on on our schedule today. Hopefully that means we can get some uh, partner panic events. Oh no, Angelina had a rubbish day at work. Or no, Kimberly did. She doesn't like being a nuclear scientist, perhaps. When is she leaving? We could get her a new job. Um, so let's see. When are you leaving? Oh. Today. Hopefully. She is not getting a uh, makeover. Oops. Um, we don't have a practical type for the workshop. Where even is our workshop? I'm just trying to find it really quickly. It's not that. It's not that. It might be this. This is it. Yeah. Alright. Kimberly and Valeria are going to try and achieve true love even though I couldn't get them a salon appointment, which is a little bit concerning. Hopefully it'll work. Here comes Valeria. Hope she's ready for what I'm going to say. I don't think you guys have talked anymore either, so this isn't going to go that well. Okay. She loves that someone put stuff up in the cafe. It's the same outfit. She's in an excellent mood. They don't know everything about each other. You two, you've gotta, you've gotta break this cycle. Uh oh, I'm gonna sneeze. That was a weird sneeze, I don't know why. Okay. We're full of surprises. We're trying to move out again. This is not going well. Why with you two? Why? I just, I can't. What's the floating cloud? Okay. Brick cup cup person brick poster. Which dream is first to the top? It's like if it says it's cup, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, we can establish the Academy for Advanced Gentrification, a school for all hipsters to share their knowledge. Okay, we've got tiny bulb, big cup person poster, world world. Which dream had the smallest cloud? Tiny bulb. <laughs> All right, um, money, person, poster, poster, cup, world. Which dream appeared the most? Poster was there twice. <laughs> we could teach people how to make their beard, to take their beard trimming to the next level. I'm really curious about how you two are so good at that. I don't think either of you grow a beard. Have you just been practicing on your friends? <laughs> Cup house, person house, money, world. Which dream had the largest cloud? I feel like it was cup. Yes. I wasn't 100% <laughs> sure. I noticed the smallest cloud. I noticed the largest cloud. Ah. Oops, a doodles. All right, this should be our last one. Person, money, person, world, money, person. Which dream didn't appear? House. Okay, we did much better on that section this time around. We could buy a house to turn it into a hipster haven. So what do you what do you reckon? How many problem penalties do we have? Uh oh. They've Just got a one. Problem penalty. Could be worse. Will the yellow it's arrow go in our favor me. or against? Come it's on, in our it favor. It so let's hope. May the odds be ever in our favor. It's looking good. I th yes. You guys, we have finally managed to get Kimberly and Valeria well done, to true love. 
sounds so good. We have an amazing future together, you and me. I can't wait. All right, we're so happy. Let's pick up our stuff, say goodbye to all our mates and me, of course. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Now we can replace you with people who will be new and exciting and want to make friends and level up and do all of the important things that you guys have just been sitting around wasting my time not doing. I'm just kidding. They've been at least, you know, making friends. At least they won't hurt my reputation at the end of this week. I don't think anything bad happened with them this week. <laughs> Alright, we are level 16 now. Four more levels till we can make a new town. Alright, so let's just hop in here, look at our black book, and see what we can find. Okay, we got a taxi driver and a limo driver. You'd think those two would go together. Uh, and the interweb fishing health and safety... These two might both be geeky. Oh, these guys both like brainstorming. So how do you guys look? A choreographer and a carpet fitter. Your um, your shifts don't line up, but I like that you guys are, are probably the same type just due to that. Sitcoms, archaeology, and spooky old houses. So I'm geeky. And hipster and then glam and geeky I, if that's glam and geeky I'm pretty sure glam and geeky is one of the achievements I need I'm just looking it up because I forget every time uh, yeah glam and geeky I do need so are you glam and geeky no I was completely and totally off Okay. What about you two? You're both arty. I don't have any arty types. I don't know how well they would really fit in. You know what? Let's let's do the practical and hipster. I, I want these two. Even though I was totally wrong about their types. 100%. Okay, so we've got the, um, I literally just looked at their stuff. Okay, let's just get rid of everybody's messages, because it's that everybody's friends have left, and everyone's going to be sad about that. And it makes sense to, to be sad. When your friends leave. So, um, yeah, you guys had a lot of friends. Okay, we got our mission complete. Hey, okay. So, just remind me. Hipster, practical. So, aircon technician, and a brain surgeon. So, the brain surgeon, I don't want to change their, uh, career because of the VIP. But the hipster, we could change. So the, we had that cafe job. Is it still available? I thought we had a cafe job. Did we not? Maybe it was a restaurant job. I don't think hipsters... Hipsters like the restaurant. Let's see how our chic one goes first, and then we'll decide on the hipster one. Hopefully people start meeting soon too so we can start setting up friendships. Alright, looking at pictures of tiny handbag dogs. She liked it. Oh yay. So you still only have one friend because Kimberly left. Oops. Meet our new people. Maybe they'll like what you like and then everyone can be happy. Alright. She did not like... He did not like that dish. Brad and Angelina are going to become friends, and I say are going to because they are going to. It, it's just going to work out perfectly because they're both hippie. She's going to love chanting. Yay, her problem is now gone, at least until he moves away, which is honestly, I think, happening in the next day or two. I'm pretty sure it's happening by the end of the week because um, it's been on the schedule for a while. Have they learned everything about each other? No. <laughs> But we're trying. Alrighty, thanks for watching soap operas with me, Luigi. It's always more fun with someone else. 
Yeah, he really hated it. I'm not that surprised. But uh, he needs friends. To the situation. I need to see what types like Sporty get along with. I think Edgy might be one of them. But I'm not sure. So we should look, because maybe our Edgy types can find solace with this guy. Should find out. Well, that didn't go so well. But this should be easy enough. No enemies for us. Even though we need to reconcile enemies, so maybe we should be making enemies. Alright, he says it's alright that he didn't like it. I mean, hopefully he didn't start in like the middle of a soap opera. You have to start with episode one if you're introducing someone new. Alright, we got problems. Uh, no, the problem with spending time with friends has been fixed. And Devin... You want to get engaged? Aw, that's so sweet. Help Sarah get her new job. So let's hope this goes well. I forgot what she's applying for, but they will tell us. Pretty sure it's like a greeter or like a hostess. <laughs> you must be Sarah. My name's Sarah. It's Sarahception. <laughs> All right, which position are you applying for? There's an opening for a housekeeper. That's right, it wasn't a greeter position at all. Yeah, she doesn't look like housekeeper material. Housekeeper should follow the rules. She's going to be cleaning a lot. Well, I'd say active. You need to be up and cleaning stuff. Let's just go for a meh. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Maybe she'll get it. Because she got the extra hearts at the beginning. Yes, she's hired. She should be happy. Even if she hates the job later. Because apparently it's not for chic people. Because she's dressed all chic. I guess she's dressed a little glam. But still. Mostly chic. Mostly chic. Okay. So let's see if we can get the hipster the job at the restaurant. Choose a client. So it's that new girl. No, the yeah, a new girl. Um, Ivana. I guess we're scheduling it for tomorrow. And so let's also go down to Ivana. Find Ivana again. She has green hair. So does Julie. Okay, Ivana. I'm just gonna make sure that you head in. We're actually gonna do it tonight. Um, wait, did I invite her? It's not what I meant to do. So I was like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. We wanted to see if we could schedule her at the salon um, so that she could be a little bit uh, chicified for the restaurant. Or, I guess, no wait, hipster's perfect. We want her hipster-fied. So we'll just make sure she's dressed hipster. Okay, that's right. You're here to talk about getting engaged. How beautiful it will be. Um, so you proposing to your partner. You've already spoken to their partner about this. Just tell them anything for now. Thought we had that one. I thought this was new. It was not. I forgot. Okay. Um, so you've got an edgy type and a sporty type, and I'm pretty sure all you have is the soap operas. Oh no, you have teeth whitening as well. I don't think the edgy and glam get along at all, but we're gonna try it, and I guess we're gonna... That's right, he was doing teeth whitening with a chic type. So if we could get him to meet another chic type, it'd be A-OK, -okay, but we have not done that yet. In fact, I don't think our new people have met anybody. That person, the, uh, Yvonne is going to come in and be like, what? Hello? Because I'm willing to bet. Yeah. Yeah, they haven't met anybody yet. They've just been... They've just been, you know, hanging out in their new home, moving stuff in, unpacking boxes, all the fun stuff you get to do when you move. If you've ever moved, then you will know all about it. It's actually a gigantic pain in the butt. I get to do it soon, so I've been thinking about it a lot. <laughs> Moving is not fun. I do not look forward to it. 
<laughs> oh, hi, Angelina. Fancy bumping into you at the lake. What are you up to? You know Luigi Kingstrom, don't you? I was wondering what you think of his hairstyle. I think it's good. They're both hippie. They're going to like the same thing. If I thought there was any reason to lie, I would, but it would have hurt their friendship. So I don't think we're going to get the lying achievement, the lying mission today. I just don't think it's er uh, this week, I guess. Not exactly today. We don't have to do it today, but it's already Thursday. We only have until Sunday. Devin needs to spend more time with friends. It's making him miserable. We are trying, Devin. Luigi needs our help at the hospital. Well, you know, we did just get that new brain surgeon in town. She might be able to help you. <laughs> Luigi, so nice to see you back at the hospital. Weird thing to say. Um, I'm glad you're actually here. I really need your help. I'm looking for someone called Luca Eggpew, but I have no idea what he looks like. He's vintage. Have you seen any vintage types around here? Identify the person. Really? I can't hear it. He doesn't sound vintage at all. I, he was wearing a bow tie. Just saying. I know Doctor Who said bow ties are cool and all, but... Still pretty sure it's a more vintage-y thing. Okay, we did have a message. So let's see, Devin is probably already having a problem with friendship again, but let's just bring him in uh, tonight Choose alongside it. her. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything for her. It's probably, it's literally just going to be like, that's all for now. Yep. Choose a client. So she's just going to head on out. But Devin has something he'd like to discuss. A problem. And I'm gonna guess that it's friendship. So we're right back here. Or had, I don't know if he actually had officially had the problem yet. Either way, we're here now. So let's just... Boop. Oh my god, certificates and everything. Try to imagine yourself as a happier person. Alright, three fabuluses in a row. We are a hat trick of fabulousness. Jackpot. And we got 50 coins, which is always good. Alright, we don't need to say more. He's gonna wait starting immediately. And we've already set him up with everybody he currently knows. Like, you need to meet some more people, bro. But that's all for now. Alrighty, so that's it for today. Looks like everyone's doing alright, and that's gonna do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and as always, I'm the Purple Pegasus, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye